Good day, Sacramento. I'm Lori Wallace hanging out in Auburn this morning. I should probably talk a little bit quieter if I want the hummingbirds to hang around. Can you guys believe this? It is absolutely amazing how many hummingbirds this whisperer has in her backyard. I have Sabrina here with me this morning to talk about this. She actually emailed into the station, said, hey, it's a sight in our backyard if you want to come take a look. And you were not kidding. I was not kidding. <laughs> they are everywhere. How long All has day. this been going on? It's almost three years in uh, August. Okay, so what's the secret? How are you getting them here? We are going to next hour find out what's in the juice. But I'm just amazed at how many, because typically people get a couple a day, get so excited, right? I think it was consistency. So, you know, over the lockdown, we had nothing to do but bird watch back here. We put one feeder out. That was draining in a day. Put two feeders out, and so on and so on. We're up to about five feeders. They go through about five gallons every four days. Five gallons every four days. Now, how many would you say at a peak moment are out here? Wow. Well, they do have their favorites. So there's a bunch of them on one. We think maybe 20 on one at a time. And that's, that's at the end of the night because they're feeding before they go to sleep. Um, but each feeder can hold maybe 10. So at this little area, sometimes there's up to 60, and the other feeders maybe eight or so more on each. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have some video from sunset ish time in yeah. the evening when most of them like to come. So we're looking at that right now. Describe what that's like out here well, in the evening. Yeah, it's quite a sight. And the buzz is, you know, there's three different species, they all make a different kind of buzzing sound with their wings. So um, it's a lot of, of drama and co competition for that last sip before they go to sleep. Uh, you can walk right up to the feeders and they'll land on your hands if you cup your hands around the feeder. So it, it's quite a sight. It's kind of our uh, party trick when we have friends over. <laughs> it's a great party <laughs> trick. Fun fact that you've learned about hummingbirds, having them out here every day. Oh, yeah. So um, let's see. There are three species that come through. The Annas stay all year round. So we'll have about 50 birds, we think, that stay through the winter. So this is a full time job all season long. Then the next to come through are the Rufus, which are the red, sort of the red hummingbirds. And then the last are the black chin. And believe it or not, with all these birds we have here, we've never found one nest in the backyard. Not one nest. Oh. So we don't know where they're coming from, but they come from every direction. Oh yeah, they're zipping all around. Right when we walked up, I was I was like, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Um, and it was so cute because Dave, the hummingbird dad, is hiding over there. And Sabrina said, you are just as much their father as I am their mother. You should come be on TV with me. But he's still hiding. So next hour, I'm going to try to get him on TV. The big, the big question. I have is what's in the juice and they go through a lot of it so coming up next hour Sabrina's gonna show me how to make this stuff what's in there and then we might try to get a little closer to the hummingbirds see if we can maybe get up close and personal in the eight o'clock hour guys back over to you and the juice what's in the juice and can we have some of it <laughs> what's in the juice oh, yeah, we need a couple gallons. how fun is that <laughs> oh love it thanks Lori